Hello guys, I'm continuing my coverage of GPT-4 All version 3 which was just released few hours ago. Previously, a couple of hours ago, we did a video on it where we installed it locally on our system and then we also went through its new features plus we also checked out its desktop application where we not only chatted with the local models privately but also we checked out how RAG works. If you want to know more, please search the channel and you should be able to find the latest video on GPT-4 All on the channel very easily. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install it with Python SDK locally and then we will see how can we chat and um, generate the inference from the local and private models by using this GPT-4 All. So let's get right into it. We will be first installing that SDK and then we will go from there. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM in the GPU which I'm using for this video. I'm using NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, but for this one you don't need that massive GPU, but still it's always good to have it if you are running multiple LLMs even in the quantized version. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website and also a coupon code for 50% discount on range of GPUs. Let me show you my VM which is Ubuntu 22.04 and then my GPU card is this which I just mentioned earlier. Let me clear the screen. Also I will be using Conda which will keep everything nice simple and straight for this demo and then I will install a Jupyter Notebook where we will install everything. So let me clear the screen and let me create a Conda environment. So I'm just calling it GPT for all. Let's wait for this one to create it and then we will proceed further. Should not take too long. That is all done. Let's also create Jupyter not Notebook. So first let's install it through Conda and then we will clear the screen and then initialize it. Should not take too long now. Almost there. And that's almost done. And there you go. So we have this uh, Conda environment installed here. And we also have Jupyter done. So let me clear the screen. And now let's launch our Jupyter notebook. It is going to open it in the browser. And that is almost there. Let's open a new notebook here. And there you have our notebook. And now, first up, let's install all the prerequisites, including GPT-4 all. And I'm just going to use this GPT-4 all command here with torch and transformers. It is the latest version, the GPT-4 all one. So that is why I am installing this transformers library. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so everything is installed as you can see here. Now let's go to the next cell and import this GPT-4 all. Also, I'm going to use this quantized version of Metalama 3.8 billion. You can use any model you like as far as it is supported. It is going to, this command is going to just download it and get it ready for us. And if you go to the website of um, GPT-4 all, you will see all the supported models and there are thousands of them literally. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. So let's wait for this model to get downloaded and then we will do the inference with it both in the direct mode and also in the chat mode. And model is downloaded. Now it is verifying the checksum of this model. Shouldn't take too long now. And you see only one line does all of it, which is great. And that is already done. And now let's do the uh, inference with it in the chat mode. So here, I'm just opening a with clause in Python. I'm just giving it, opening the, initializing the chat session with it. And then I'm asking the model to generate the output of this prompt, which is write me 10 sentences about Socrates. And then uh, the max output is 1024 tokens. And then let's print it out. Let me run it. It is running locally. First up, of course, it is going to take a bit of a time because it is going to load it onto the GPU it automatically detects your device that is great 
and there you go it has printed a uh, certain sentences about socrates so he was a greek philosopher widely regarded and then despite being prominent figure refused to accept payment that is true amazing stuff so you see it has really even in the quantized version it has performed very well so that was a chat version if you want to build a chatbot you would use that api call but if you just want to generate a response you can simply write something like this uh, maybe i'll just say in homer style let's run it so it's just an epic poem it is just going to generate it there you go so how quick and local and then it has just generated this poem in a jiffy how good is that now so this is the generation one another cool thing about this stuff is that you can even go and do the embeddings too embeddings are the numerical representations sorry which are used in the retrieval augmented generation so what happens is that if you want to give your own custom data to the llm you first convert them into vectors or embeddings or numerical representation and then you um, store them in the vector store and where it is augmented with the prompt and then your llm gets more context around it so nomic which is now the company behind gpt for all also provides us some of the embedding models which are quite good and i already have covered them on the channel so if you're interested please search them out so you can also use these embedded embedding um uh, llms with this gpt for all for example you can simply um, from nobic you can use this import embed and then you would have to of course install that nobic library first because and for that you would just do pip install nomic and then we will import that embed function from this nomic we will use this embeddings and then it is going to print out the embeddings in it and you see that now it is downloading that embedding model after installing the nomic it is verifying it and there you go so number of embeddings created two and then number of dimensions which is because it's a multi-dimensional numerical vector representation these are the number of dimensions are 768 so if you go up this is what we actually had given it as a input data here so you see we just gave it two strings so two embeddings and then it has done the inference mode local so it has done everything locally Automa automatically it has downloaded the embedding model you didn't have, even have to specify it so all in all this is what this new gpt4 all is totally overhauled with a new look and everything and if you haven't already do check out my other video which i just did <clears throat> uh, today around the desktop application that is also really cool so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching